I like this. It yes. looks good on you. Oh, thanks. All right. We've got more to come on A Morning, but first we're going to head back to Eric. How are you doing, Eric? Doing well, Maggie. Thank you very much. Steve Johnston is with me now. He has a website called thefilmcynics.com, and he often brings his cohort with him, Brian Dukowicz. Brian's not here this morning, but you're here to talk about the Incredible Hulk. But before we do that, let's talk about your website for just a moment. You basically look at DVD releases, whether it's movies or television series. Is that right? That's right. We, uh, we file that, uh, that most people watch movies in, uh, at home these days. They don't go to the theaters. So um, we, we just wanted to wait, have a way for people to figure out what to watch without having to remember four months ago when people were saying what was in theaters. So giving people a, a way to cut through the hype machine a little bit mm -hmm. and, and see what's really great and maybe what's not so great. Ang Lee directed a movie called the Hulk, That's but this right. is not to be confused. This is the Incredible Hulk, the new one. That's right. It came out today. Um, so the the Hulk is a comic book character who is uh, played by a well, he's a scientist who got irradiated with gamma rays, and now he turns into this giant green monster called the Hulk. So Ang Lee tried this movie a few years ago. Um, he tried to deliver it with a real kind of human side to it. And it had a lot with, of animation in it, didn't it? Yeah, a lot of animation, a lot of interesting uh, editing, to a lot of interesting transitions and stuff to to create that sort of comic book feel. A, a little too much humanity, a little bit too much uh, transition effects. It it it, uh, it didn't really grab people the way you would hope it would. Like if you want got a movie about a giant green monster, you want to see that giant green monster beating people up and breaking things. And there just wasn't enough of that. So, really? So that's what we got in The Incredible Hulk. Uh, Louis Leterrier, a great French director, um, who's one of my favorite movies that he did of his is uh, yeah, it's called Unleashed. And that's a Jet Li movie, and it's all about a guy who is a super fighting machine, but he's got to learn about how to be a regular human being and how to get along with other people. So it sort of tells a, it's able to tell a real human story with a lot of action blended into it, and that's exactly what we see in The Incredible Should Hulk. Should we take a look? Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look now. This is The Incredible Hulk, out today on DVD. <laughs> Young people watching at home, please don't try that. And it's not a way to behave. Is that enough anger and violence for you, there, Steve? That's like the uh, that's like the, uh, the Citizen Kane of uh, beating up with a wow. police car movie. So, so that's a, similar to the Hulk, that combination of animation with real life. Right. Um, so yeah, that, that it was meant to be uh, meant to look like it was West 125th. It, it looks it's supposed to look like they're fighting in front of the Apollo Theater, but they're actually fighting just down the street from Sam the Record Man in, in Toronto, Toronto on Young Street. Yes, on Young Street. Wow. Um, a lot of this movie was shot in Toronto, um, and also a nice little chunk of it was shot in Bella Coola, B.C., so just, uh, really? just over on the mainland. Yeah. Which, what, what part of the movie goes? Is it uh, uh, well, the somber moments? The, the, there's, an alternate op uh, there's an alternate opening to the movie that's on the extended, like on a th triple disc uh, version of the DVD, but also the ending of the movie happens in Bella Coola, B.C., which is, and it's actually as Bella Coola, which is really uh, odd. But, yeah. Oh, that's really neat. The Avengers movie is coming out. In a long while. In a long while, in 2011. So what, what, what's happened recently is uh, Marvel Comics, the creator of the Hulk and, and Spider-Man and, and Iron Man, they decided to start making their own movies. So what they've done is they've, they've created a, a series of movies that are all going to sort of be intertwined. Now, if, I don't know if people stay, stay around until after the credits of Iron Man, but there's a sequence in there where they discuss a little bit about the Avengers. At the end of the Hulk, if you stay to the end of the credits, there's a little sequence again where they discuss the Avengers. So as, as Iron Man and the Hulk and, and soon Captain America is going to be coming out and then Thor is coming out, they're all made by Marvel Comics Studios and they're eventually all going to tie into this wow. movie, The Avengers, in 2011. That's good marketing. Todd McFarlane did the same thing, made his own Absolutely. Uh, figurines. Yes, he did. Okay, we're just about out of time, but you have some activity on your website. You have uh, aligned yourselves with Zip.ca. Yeah, we're, we're, we've, got a, we've got a little bit of a partnership going on with Zip.ca. They are uh, Canada's uh, mail-order movie central. So you, what, what you can do is you can rent DVDs through them by the mail, uh, keep them for, you know, keep them for a long, as long as you want the, without late fees, and then you, you send them back and they send you a whole whack of more. So we've, we've got a little project going on with them. We're going to be giving out free memberships uh, throughout the, the time ahead. 
We're also going to be doing DVD giveaways um, on a monthly basis. We're very excited about All that. Right. The filmcynics.com is the website, and you also want to encourage people to go out and see a Canadian-made film, Passchendaele. Passchendaele. Go see it. Support Canadian film. It's going to be good. And uh, this is cross-promotion uh, because this clip will be on Steve's website, thefilmcynics.com. If you're watching on the website, don't forget to tune in to A Morning, weekday mornings from 6 to 9. We'll be right back. Stay with us.